Now let's brought this out by discussing the far-reaching consequences of the assassination of the Haiti's president, who is joining me, a global affairs analyst, Kunle Fallo. Thank you so much for joining us on The World Now. Assassination of a president of a country is something that a lot of people regard to as tall order. But with the recent killing of the Chadian president and some other top figures who are heavily protected, what do you think, it's, why do you think it's possible for Juvenel Moise to have been killed or assassinated in this manner? Well, that's a great question. Um, let's uh, take a little bit of uh, uh, introspect uh, to what uh, Haiti is uh, all about as a country. It's a, a, a small country, relatively small country, uh, with uh, over 60% of the entire population on the, living under the poverty line, meaning that uh, more than half of the entire population is uh, is hungry and, and, and you know they're not they're not doing very well. Um, also, with the state of the political instability, uh, the gang violence in Port-au-Prince, the uh, country's capital, and and um, social economic crisis, the earthquake. Uh, in 2010, and also they have um, a, 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 a epidemic of cholera in that country. And put all of this together, uh, you will find a country in deep trouble. And whatever, whenever time uh, you have a country with all of these underlying problems, uh, the top political leaders are not safe. No one is safe. No one is exempted uh, from the harsh uh, reality, which is uh, nobody uh, is uh, will be excused from death. And in this situation, um, I kind of uh, ex exposes the fact that um, anywhere that you have political instability, uh, there's uh, there's bound to be killings and assassinations. It's pretty amazing, but but the Caribbean nation Haiti is known to be very impoverished. You know, they're facing a dire economic situation and has been embroiled in serious political crisis. I talk about kidnapping and banditry in that Caribbean uh, in nation. So, also more than thirteen thousand people have also said to have fled their homes as a result of this serious insecurity. And oppositions have also called for, they had been calling for the resignation of the former Asian president. Could this have also led to his assassination, do you think? Oh, definitely. Um, like I said, uh, the, the state of uh, huge amounts of economic problems and uh, woes and, and all of the instability in that country has made it so very fragile. Uh, the democratic process is also uh, at the brink of collapse. The entire country economic uh, 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 well-being also is at the brink of collapse. The United Nations uh, is still continuing to send um, uh, aids, the United States for instance. And by the way, uh, Haiti is very close to, it's a North American country close to rich neighbors like Canada and the United States, meaning that um, there's likely uh, going to be a spillover from you know this crisis because when there's gang activities and gang violence people are prone to leave that area or community and thereby they move over to richer countries or richer uh, places meaning that um, the entire north american corridor isn't even safe because you're bound to have more people migrating to other places and and yes uh, it, it's very unstable and it's going to require all hands to be in deck internationally and also locally well, uh, this is a country where um, technically the legislative arm is, uh, is down, the police force is down, virtually all the past titles of government in Haiti are down. So um, what lies ahead for that kind of a country in terms of you know, securing political stability? How does the United Nations and some other countries you know, come in to, uh, to help this country so that they regain their political stability? Well, first, there needs to, there needs to be an election uh, in that country, uh, and that's one of the problems that uh, the recently assassinated president was accused of. He wanted to uh, mess with the constitution, meaning that he wanted to uh, to prolong his stay in power. He wanted to spend an extra year 
in, in office. And as a matter of fact, he had also uh, named a, a new prime minister who was going to replace the uh, current prime minister. Uh, but the only problem was before he was assassinated, he was not sworn in yet. He hasn't been sworn in yet. He's yet to be sworn in. Uh, and all of this is playing, uh, playing along. And uh, the international community can, can do a huge favor, uh, especially uh, in the corridors of the North American continent, Canada and the United States, for instance, can come in and and uh, try and encourage them, first of all, politically to to uplift democracy and not let it die. Because uh, back in, you know, uh, go, going back to, to, to history, about 30 years, uh, in, in the space of 30 years, uh, the United States have gone into, into Haiti and helped them um, when they had uh, a coup twice, uh, and they had sent the mercenaries to help them um, bring back democracy uh, twice in that country, and there have been also influx of foreign aid from from United States. Uh, they've been doing that for over 50 years, and not only that, um, uh, Haiti hasn't. It's in it's in record that Haiti has not the, the people of Haiti has not been vaccinated against uh, the coronavirus, meaning that it's further compounds and complicates the problem they have in the country. Um, so many uh, pandemic they have the cholera, and then imagine a country that hasn't got a dose of vaccination. Uh, and you have all the rich neighbors around you. It means you know it's really, really an impoverished country that is you know seeking help and is clamoring and, and you know right. yelling for help across the board. Absolutely, as at the late, latest figure, they've got about more than nineteen thousand cases of the coronavirus pandemic. Well, we see how this you know really uh, pans out at the end of the day. Global affairs analyst Kunle Falo, thank you so much for speaking with us on World Now.